And boy, I'll tell you what, they are in for a whale of a championship wrestling program. What action we got today. Superstar Bubba and Mighty Goliath are going to be here. We'll also be looking at Tracy Smothers. We will have Rocky Soul Man Johnson. Listen to the main event today. We're going to have uh, returning know. rock and roll RPMs, Mike Davis and Tommy Lane, going against Jeff Jarrett and Billy Trapper. Yes, uh, both of them former Southern Tag right. Team champions, and that's our main event for this day. What a whale of a program we have got lined up. We're going to be back to get ready to get started on it in just a moment with a brand new video on Rocky Soul Man Johnson. Be back in a moment. Johnson, yeah, was, uh, we're going to be seeing Rock a little bit later on. Let's get some action underway. We got uh, Big Bubba and the Mighty Goliath coming out in our first match today. Uh, you know, it, it, it is redundant to say they'll have the size advantage because they have the size advantage on anybody. It makes no difference. Well, led by the head of the commission, the Prince, there's the court jester, Mr. Downtown Bruno. The superstar, Big Bubba. Right, we got a match coming up. Yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet you've got some things to tell me. I'd like to see you in the ring. Hey, hey, hey. I'm out here to talk about this Uncle Tom, full-time Oreo out here. We're talking about Rocky Johnson challenging me to a dance contest. Can you believe this? What do you mean? Me. Him challenging you. You're the one that came up with the challenge. I heard about it. Don't... Let me tell you something. First of all, it doesn't matter who challenged who, brother. The bottom line is I'm going to show the whole world there ain't a bit of soul in this man's body except for the soles of his shoes. Right. You know what I'm saying, brother? Hey, let me tell You've you been around right this guy now. too long. Let me tell you something right now, you bike dough boy. See, I was born with my brown nose, sucker. How did you get your brown nose? Following Don D and Jerry Lawler around all day. When Jerry Lawler go to the bathroom and come out, Rocky Johnson can tell you how it smell. Oh, God. Hey, 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 man, let me tell you something, brother. You know what's going to be the best part about this? All my people are going to be out there. And they're going to be the judges. All the people in the audience, you know. And when I beat Rocky Johnson right out there in the real ring, baby, when I beat him, 
That'd be He's going to have to pay for all those one. door prizes. And that's yeah, I understood they were smart in that thing. One of you is going to have to pay for a lot of door prizes, right? <laughs> well, you're not looking at him right now, dude. Oh, no. Uh -huh. That knapperhead colored boy and for a long night, sucker. Yeah, well, we're going to be uh, interested to see how that little action comes out when you get in there. Hey, you're the one that made the challenge, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure that it will be an interesting little go when you get in there. Yeah, it'll be real interesting, brother. The match will just take and warm up my joints so I can boogie in the ring. Uh -huh. Okay, well, there they head off to the ring, Dave. Let's uh, us head there for the official announcement. Got a one fall, 15 minute time limit match here. Total weight 501 pounds. Introducing both out of Arkansas, William the Freezer Thompson and his partner today, Greg Jones. And going against him at a total of 821 pounds from Miami, Florida, it's superstar Big Bubba. And the mighty Goliath out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with the Prince, a.k.a. Brickhouse Brown in their corner, and downtown Bruno, the court jester of the commission, also in their corner. Referees Jerry Calhoun, we're underway with Mighty Goliath, starting against William, the Freezer Thompson. Okay, the Freezer, closest thing, Davey, that we have to anybody about his size, uh, and he still is nowhere near as big as either one of them in there, and he is a big guy. He is indeed. He will go close to 300 pounds himself, but Mighty Goliath, his opponent, weighs 414. What a change in person. What a change in personality on Bubba, all this dancing and stuff. Challenging Rocky. He's got a match coming up next week with yeah. Rocky, and he challenges him to a dance. It's been a while since I've talked to you. I know you missed me, so I thought I'd keep it coming. You're supposed to sit over here. Well, he's just... not supposed to stand out there and slap anybody in the ring. He says who? Says that's what the rules say. You're, not supposed, to wear, you're not supposed to wear clothes that went out of style in the mid-70s, but you do. See what I mean? People do things once You're a while. great one to be talking about clothes. That's all What's I can all say. my outfit? Tell <laughs> me. If you got to ask, it wouldn't do any good to tell you. I can tell you that I right like now. I like my outfit very like yours. By the way, your flag's on. Okay, William Thompson in there with uh, the mighty Goliath. There you go. The Freezer not having much luck against the line. There's Big Bubba coming in. Oh, these two guys are powerhouses, let me tell you. Look at that. Wow. Can you believe he just <laughs> touched him, scooped him up in the air, and what is he, 270, 280, something like yeah, that. Yeah, he's close to 300 pounds, yeah. and uh, Bubba just picked him straight up in the air and body slammed him. Thompson hangs on to the ropes this time. He's over to the corner, tags his much smaller partner. Oh, boy. His per first look at uh, Greg Jones is yeah. really bad. Greg weighs about 201. He's given away over 200 pounds. Rustling men literally twice his size. Bubba splashes down on him. This might be it. Two. Yeah, he held it for the three count. Two minutes, 25 seconds of action to time. The hands raise uh, Big Bubba, the mighty Goliath, and uh, Brickhouse Brown, the Prince, and uh, Downtown Bruno all getting in there with a celebration. The time on it again, two minutes, 24 seconds of action, and the official winners, Mighty Goliath and Big Bubba. Wrestling, Rocky Johnson involved in the next match. Lance is with him right now. Okay, David Rocky, before you go out to the ring, partner, you got uh, double duty coming up. You got a match with superstar Big Bubba and a dance contest. Well, he challenged me, Lance. Let me yeah. put it to you this way, brother. I never back down from a challenge, you know what I mean? I've been challenged to boxing matches, wrestling matches, street fights. And this is my first time, Daddy, that somebody challenged me to. A dancing contest. Mm -hmm. well, I ain't no Fred Astaire, and I ain't James Brown, but I can get down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I ain't backing down from no challenge. So if that's what he wants, then, brother, he got it. Because I kind of want to keep my money. You I'm know what I mean? Forward to it. Okay, Rock. Into the ring, Rocky Johnson, Dave.
today. Rough, uh, rough and ready. All winners, uh, manager up there with us. Marcus saying, hey, leave me alone. It takes time getting up to the ring. Rocky Johnson out of Washington, D.C., 264 pounds. And referee Jerry Calhoun says ring the bell for a one-fall 15-minute time limit match. Ruff, certainly, has to be considered a big underdog in this one. Yeah, Ruff's put on a little weight since he first started. Yeah, yeah. The team of Ruff and Reddy started uh, coming to championship wrestling. He's, he's, of course, nowhere near in the same league with The Rock, but uh, look at him. Got up and got it. Again. 264 pounds, and he moves like a featherweight. He slammed him hard. Two, three. Well, I think he needs to go put a little more weight on, Dave. If he's going to battle with his old man, he does. Time on it was only 36 seconds as Rocky gets the win. Rocky Johnson, your winner. We've got more action coming up. We're going to be back to it in just one moment. Wednesday night, I got to tell you, I was looking over the entire action coming up, and I will give you the whole card a little bit later on. You're going to hear conversation about various matches throughout the program today. What a night it is going to be. Let me start off by telling you it's going to be students' night right there in the Evansville Coliseum. All students, kindergarten through the 12th grade, will be admitted to general admission three bucks. That's right, three dollars for all of the students. And what a night of action you are going to be getting. This is really going to be something. There will be a war match. It will have the Southern title, the heavyweight title at stake with Don Bass and Jerry the King Lawler. And there's going to be a nasty match. Anything goes. You got that right. Paul Diamond, Pat Tanaka, and the Nasty Boys. Mid-America title match, a dance contest, an added match. It will be there to see who can use the title superstar. All of it coming up for Wednesday night right there in the Coliseum. We're going to be looking at the commission there, and I am sure that all the forces will turn out for that action that's coming up. Nasty Boys. Well, that's what the name of the match is. They ought to be ready for this match. The Fat Boys, Lance Russell. Oh. Fat Boys. Listen up, fat boys. Last week, we kicked your butt all over that Coliseum. And this week, well, let me tell you, last week just was a little preview of what you're going to get this week from the real nasty team. Bad company right here, baby. Well, you guys know anything goes in that match in there, uh huh? So they can do anything they want to do, too. Well, we'll go we'll anything we want to do. No problem. Gravy work. That's what it's going to be. Is that what it is? Huh? Gravy work. Well, you're not going to think so when that war match comes war up. Right? I don't no care disqualification, by the way. I don't care nothing about no war because we don't take no prisoners. <laughs> Tell them that is. That's right. Right, baby. Lord, I thought it was supposed to be me and you in there. But you call all your friends down, stick their nose in here, baby. Well, this is the last time they're sticking their nose in. Because when we're through Wednesday night in Evansville, it'll be no more friends because we're going to bust you with everything we got as hard as we can. Wednesday. Warrior are going to be in the ring with Tracy Smothers in action here on Championship Wrestling in just a moment. Before we do, uh, I guess it is only fitting that we announce the current holder of the international heavyweight title, George Barnes. George. All I want to say to you, Mr. Russell, is no crystal ball needed, baby. No crystal ball needed. Because whenever George Barnes makes a prediction, the prediction... 99.9 .9 tenths of the time always comes true, Mr. Russell, always comes true. And you know I was 100% sure this time because I have known Dundee ever since he was that high. Ever since he was that high, Mr. Russell, I've known Dundee. And I knew, 
I knew he was going to lose this match because I can out-wrestle him, I can out-fight him, I can out-do anything that Dundee can do and have done all of my life and will continue to do for the rest of my life. Now let me tell you something, Mr. Russell. My phone, my telephone has been running hot. The door knocker has come off the hinge with Eddie Marlin knocking on my door, trying to get me to sign a contract. To we a contract for Dundee to rematch the oh, that, makes, the that makes good sense. Yeah, I mean, he deserves good the contract. Sense. Listen, there is only one way, Dundee, that you will get a title match. I would rather go out in the audience and find the fattest American hick that I could find out there and give him a title match rather than give you a title match. The only thing I want out of you, Dundee, is humiliation. And humiliation is what you're going to get. The only way you're going to get this title match, Dundee, is to get all those sissy little suits that you wear around and put them down in the ring and there's one more stipulation dundee the final humiliation is i want all that jet black hair off of your head and when i get for a rematch you're demanding a hair match in there he was the champion you ought to give him a rematch he was the champion that's past tense mr russell i am the champion so whatever the champion says is whatever the champion gets. Now I'm telling you, Dundee, that match will never come off. I know you will never do that. You will never risk all those pansy little suits and all that beautiful black hair because, baby, if you ever do make that mistake of putting that hair and putting those suits up, I'm going to gather all that hair up. I'm going to gather those suits up. I'm going to get the biggest pot I can find, Mr. Russell, and I'm going to put it in the center of that ring, and I'm going to light a fire underneath it, and I'm going to burn the light, and I'm going to watch Dundee's ego burn up with all that hair and all those suits. But I don't mind. I don't mind. I've got forever. I can wait forever. One day, Dundee, it will happen. But in the meantime, in the meantime, Mr. Russell, I'm just going to go around, I'm just going to show all you redneck American hicks. All you... All you half-wits, or whatever you like to call yourselves, all you American wrestlers out there, there's a standing challenge. The boy from Down Under, the Down Under Thunder is here, and he's going to teach you, he was going to give all you American boys a lesson in how to wrestle and how to be a man. And when you see the Australian standing up there and he's holding his belt, you can stand up and you can throw that flag down and say, there's a true man. International heavyweight champ, George Ball. Springfield, Tennessee's Tracy Smothers. Tracy at 228 pounds. Referee Jerry Calhoun. One fall, 15 minute time limit match. Tracy Smothers. Boy, he's really looking good. New attitude as he's back in the territory here. He's yeah, that was, uh, I thought, a very interesting comment that Tracy made about going away and, and what it did uh, psychologically to get his head straight in and all. And that, you know, is, is not foreign to a, a, a lot of us. I think that we understand exactly what he's saying in there. Good hip toss for Tracy. Hooks that arm with that rolling arm lock again, and he pops Eric down hard. Very complaining to referee uh, Jerry Calhoun. He said, hey, he had to be pulling it by the tights. He couldn't have done that otherwise, could he? Well, of course he did. Tracy Smother. Standing side headlock, and Eric shakes him, but it ends up the object of that shoulder as he comes off the ropes. Tracy whips him. Jump. Look at the leap from Big drop kick. Nice move. Tracy looking very, very combo. Following up on his advantage, and Eric takes to the floor to get a little rest. Well, it's been all Tracy Smothers.
scores so far in the match. Derek not having uh, much luck at getting an offense going here. Tracy with a great drop kick and, and good balance. There was one time there, it looked like he wanted to go for the drop kick, but he caught himself because Eric was holding back closer to the ropes there. And he knew he, uh, he, if he went for the drop kick at that point, there was a good chance he wouldn't connect. And when you miss on a drop kick, you can get yourself in trouble. Look at Tracy, he's got it back in the corner, answering fist for fist. Eric was hitting him and now Tracy paying it back a little bit. Wow. Boy, he nailed him with an elbow. I thought he was going to go for a pin there, but uh, he picked him up, fired him into the corner, reversal, Tracy up. Flying press, and that's a lot of meat to come a sailing at you. Nice. Great move by Tracy Smothers. Two minutes, 15 seconds as the flying press ends it for Keith Eric. The victory for Tracy. Yeah, it was uh, a very good match for Tracy as Keith Herrick never really got too much into the match. He got a couple of shots at him with a fist. Tracy retaliated and came through with that big flying press to win that match. What was the time again, Dave? 2.15. 2.15. All right, sir. We got more action. Boy, we've got a great main event today. Return of the Rock and Roll RPMs. And boy, I'll tell you what, that should be a dandy going against Jeff Cherrick, Billy Travis, later on. The superstar, Bill Dundee. Boy, I can tell you, he, uh, he may have dropped that belt to George Barnes, but it's not over for the superstar by a long shot. Here's a guy who's been a consistent long-term winner. Billy, doing, good sir? to have you out here. We, of course, heard your Australian countryman well, out here a little bit earlier. All I can say, answer him, answer is, I win about 85% of my wrestling matches. But when it comes to hair matches, I'm batting zero. I ain't won one. So I'm just going to tell you something, George. I don't know if it's nerves, if it's just, I don't know what it is. But there's something when I get on the match and my hair's on the line, I can't win. And I'm not wrestling in no hair match today, tomorrow, next week, ever. That match will never take place, George, because I'm not putting my hair on the line. And I don't know what it is, if it is nerves, or I just get overconfident, I can't lose. But every time I wrestle for my hair, I'm the one that ends up bald. And I'm not putting my family through no humiliation when you walk down the street and some little kid says, Hey, Dundee, you lost your hair in a wrestle match. I've done it, I've lost it, and I'm not doing it again. So, George, as far as I'm concerned, that match will never take place. Thank you, Lancer. Okay, Billy. Well, I, as I said to George, I think that's a lousy thing that he's got to make that stipulation. I think you deserve the rematch in there. And he's got... Oh, look out. Here comes the big one, big superstar Bubba, as he calls himself. What is it? Let me tell you something, Dundee. I've always had a lot of respect for you. You've always been a rough, a tough, a super competitor in the ring. I didn't mind you using my name even. Uh -huh. Superstar. But let me tell you something. When you get out here in front of all these people on Nationwide TV and tell them how gutless you are and what a coward you are because you won't even accept this challenge match, well, it just irks me deep inside. Let me tell you something. I came out here because I want to do something for the final and last time. I want to challenge you to a match. Here, and I want you to listen tight. And it's for the superstar name, brother. We're going to separate the men from the boys. And the basis of this match is... At the end of the match, should I lose, very bad, you know, forget about it. Anyway, should I lose, the bottom line is, I'll call myself the fallen star, Big Bob. I'll come on TV right here and tell everybody that I'm not the superstar. But the bottom line is, if you lose, you understand? You'll never use the name superstar again. You're picking on him because you think he lost one match. I love it as a matter of fact. I'm not fact. picking on anybody. Yeah. Yeah. The bottom line is, I'm just asking for an extra no. match on the card. It's not going to interfere with anything else. You mean you will I'm have, you will have, have your regular man, match? Man to man. A match. Hey, man to man, it's a personal challenge. I love it. Superstar against like superstar. Yeah. I got enough confidence. I love it. But, of course, I can't make the match officially, Billy. We're going to have to get out here, Eddie Marlin, if we can. Eddie? 
I know you're back there. Sorry, a little bit earlier before the show. If we can get you out, I think uh, hopefully you've heard exactly the comments. What he's saying is, we don't cancel any matches that are on the card next week. It's simply a matter of adding a match to it, Ed. And I got to tell you, I love the idea. He I'm thinks he's jumping on somebody that's down. I love the idea too, and I happen to have my briefcase here, and I've always got contracts in it. I'll need their name on the door. Okay. Hey, you're willing to sign for the contract. Okay. All right. Where is he? Big Bubba. Sitting it down here. And Russell and Mr. Marlin accepted the challenge, right? There it is, right there. Come on, little man. Come on, come on. Hey. You're awful big. You're as big as an ox and twice as smart, I bet you. Now, let me read it. You never read it. You just did it. Now, oh. just hang on here. Oh. Take your time. We got all the time in the world. I mean, little man, little feet, little hands, little voice, squeak, squeak, squeak. Right, let me tell you, there huh? ain't no part in here where he says about the superstar part of you. Just write it oh, in. That's, yeah. That's just, yeah, totally just write it in. Come here. on, there, little guy. Write it in, man, in your hands. Right stipulation, right. Eddie. I think you heard it. Real big words, don't you think? Come on. See you next week. You know, like I told brother, you're big, huh? but you're awful dumb. You never read nothing. I wish I had a contract on you for money, Jack. Or just I'd have all you got. Time. I know it's very hard for that little bitty brain and that very little man to understand those big, big words. Loser will not use name superstar anymore. Okay, That's great, there it is. Man. Very good. You can learn to write. Oh, it's great. Can you walk and talk? Okay, to hey, me? hey, how about you initialing this right here? Because he added it oh. in there, and you got, and it oh, wasn't part oh, of the original. Okay. We want to make it legal. Okay. I know it's said, right? That's right. That Loser it. will not use superstar name further. This All match right. is signed, and I'll be Thank right there to watch it. Okay. I'm glad that, and that of course means none of the other matches are canceled or anything. It's just added to the card, right? I love it. You think you've taken a guy who's down, as a matter of fact, and you're going to pick on him while he's down. And how, far, how much further down can you get from beneath us? Very funny. I've just been thinking. You're a great big dude. Call yourself the superstar. Now, I'm not as big as you, but I've always thought I was pretty tough. And if we're going to fight, we got to have some rules, right? Isn't there always rules in a fight? Yes, sir, rules? certainly. What rules? We don't need rules. <laughs> oh, you want to go without the rules, huh? What that you're what you... telling me, Bubba, is that you don't mind, we're going to get in there and we can just, no rules, right? I would like to have some rules in this because you're a big, strong dude, Bubba. That's the idea. What rules? We don't need no rules. How do you believe it's rules he wants? Well, that's a good reason. I'm going thought. to give you one more time to see. You want to have rules or don't you? Rules. All right, Bill. <laughs> He's messing with some guy who just because he lost one match and a title in there is all through. He found out. Yeah. Uh, that's Bill's interpretation of no rules, Dave. Yeah, I think that's a good idea to get the, the big Bubba out of here. He may have found himself in a situation <laughs> that is not exactly the way he thought it was going to be that he's talking about the little people and all that sort of thing. Boy, I tell you, he doesn't want any rules. He is definitely dealing with the wrong guy to have a match like that. I just got to tell you. Whoa, we're going to take time out. We're going to be back in just one moment. Coming up Wednesday night at the Coliseum, but first, let me tell you that Thursday, September the 10th, Huntingburg, Tennessee, uh, Indiana, that is, uh, action will be coming to Memorial Gym. Thursday, September the 10th, Huntingburg, Indiana. Thursday, September the 17th, Olytic, Indiana, at the Community Center right there. Be looking for championship wrestling. Wednesday, students, your time, man, I'm telling you. You not only have got a great deal on the admission, but what a great card. All students from kindergarten through 12th grade admitted to general admission, 
three bucks. That's exactly right. You'll be seeing Bill Dundee going against King Carl Fergie. You'll be seeing Super Bubba and Rocky Soul Man Jan Johnson. They'll have a dance contest before they ever get underway with the match. Mid-America title, Jarrett and uh, Mighty Goliath. Nasty match with Diamond and Tanaka against the Nasty Boys. Then the war match with Don Bass, Jerry the King Lawler, anything goes. You be there. Cowboy Don Bass. Yeah. Drop kick me deep. Oh. Boy, he hit that ring and took off yeah. after Ed Maddox. You didn't even get a chance to do the introduction. Yeah, no introduction uh, time at all. Ed Maddox, of course, out of Memphis, Tennessee. Don Bass out of Greasy Corner, Arkansas. He's got Maddox up in the air, drops him right down, right on his face. There's a cover, counts it two and three, got him. Short match, 22 seconds of time on it. That fuck's gonna happen to Lawler, man. You see what's gonna happen to Lawler? That fuck's gonna happen to him, brother. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I don't think you will find it quite that easy with all due respects no. to, uh, to Ed. 22 seconds, is that what 22 seconds, the official yeah. time. Huh? You know, when you get uh, a guy stunned and you get the kind of weight that Bass has on top like that, it That's is tough. very difficult to kick yeah. out. And, of course, he had that one leg up there where he had him down in a 1-2-3 position. So a very short match for Don Bass. What in the world does the king have? I recognize boxing gloves and a hickory stick. What in the world do you have, Jerry? Hey, You've got hey, that man. whole, whole, whole pile of stuff out here. Let me put all this stuff down here. If we can, just for a second here. Did I drop anything? Leave anything? Yeah. No, I got it all. <laughs> I think you got a bunch right oh, there. I've been listening to Don Bass out here run his mouth and Prince run his mouth about what took place in the match last week. Now, you said it right, Lance. There was an opportunity during that match. Match, As a matter of fact, before the match even started, I told him after he had brought that entire commission down there and I brought all my army down there, I said, okay, let's do it this way. He started complaining. I said, I'll send all my guys back to their dressing room if you send all yours back. Right. But he didn't want to do it. He wanted them to stay out there. And I guess there was a little, you know, if the big fat slob right. fell out of the ring, he's so clumsy, he fell out of the ring a couple times. And I guess somebody did punch him in the nose. Well, I can't help that. And he's complaining about it. So he says, now, this week that he's going to have all of his guys, and since there's no disqualification, he's going to turn them loose on me. He says that every time I'm thrown out of the ring or if I get out of the ring, they're going to kill me. Didn't he say they're going to kill me? They're going to kill you. They're going to kill me. Well, let me just tell you this, Don Bass. If I dug myself a grave every time somebody said they're going to kill me, I'd be eating chop suey in China right now. But I ain't, brother. I'm right here. And I'm going to be here for a long, long time, I can tell you that. Now, we're talking about the World Heavyweight Championship belt. Of course, first of all, we're talking about the Southern Heavyweight Championship. But the reason I say the World Championship is because everybody knows that you got to have the Southern Championship to get a shot at the world title. And I'm going to start right at the bottom rung, and I'm going to climb that ladder one more time to get another shot at Kurt Henning. And the first rung on that ladder is getting my belt back around my waist, and that's what I'm going to do this week. Now, we got ourselves what's called a war match, and the reason it's called that is because that's simply what it's going to be. Now, all you said you're going to do is you're going to have all your friends around the ring. That's fine. Bring them on down there. But it'd be awful silly. It'd be awful silly, Don Bass, to have yourself a war and have yourself an army and have them unarmed, wouldn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have all my men down at ringside and they are going to be armed because there's no disqualification, so I guess that means anything goes, That's right? Correct. Well, I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to call some of my friends out here right now, if I can. How about Rocky Johnson? Rocky Johnson back there, if we can get Rocky out. Well, I'll tell Rocky you Johnson what, with here. no disqualification and everybody that's lined up in here, and, and now the king uh, getting ready to arm his troop. Rocky, I got something for you down there for this match. I want you to have these on when the match starts, and any time Don Bass comes out there, I want you to hit him so many times and so hard with the left hand that he'll beg you to use well, you the right, okay? I'll do that for you, brother. You know, there ain't nothing I wouldn't do for you, and you know I know how to use it. I know you do. That's all I want you to do. Let me see who else we got back there. Is Tracy Smothers back there? Oh, what do you got? Oh, oh, 
Oh, no. No, 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 no. Tracy? Yeah. Tracy being a good old Southern boy. Now, I don't know if everybody's going to know exactly what this is. Can you get a good close shot of this? Mm -hmm. Let's, let's see. What uh, we... No, no. <laughs> I, don't, uh -uh. I don't know what we can demonstrate it on, but this let's is called, not. this is called a cattle prod, right? right. Or a right. shock stick. I don't know how many bolts are in there, but I can assure you that uh, when you press this button and stick it against somebody, they're going to go where they don't want to go. So we'll, I'm going to let you use that on, right. on that big fat uh, cattle down there Monday there or this week. Let's see, who else we have back there? How about, is, is, uh, how about the Nasty Boys? Are they back there? Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sang, here they come right now. Now, I can, I can guarantee one thing. Anybody that walks around with haircuts like that got to have a lot of fights out on the street. Isn't that right? That's right. That's right. So what do, what do you use in a street fight? You get anything you can. You yank that metal studded belt off, which is what we have right here, and I know you got one too. And I want you guys to have those belts with the metal studs in them. And anytime that fat boy comes out there, wear him out with it, okay? I, I, I believe they've had one around their fist before. <laughs> Look at How about Billy Travis? Is Billy Travis back there? Here comes Billy. Billy? Now, I got something here that I know you can relate to, and I know a lot of people out there can relate to this. You know, when you were a young boy, mm. at least I know when I was a young boy, anytime I got out of line, anytime I did something wrong, the person you had to answer to was mom, isn't that right? You better believe it. And the bad thing about it, I'll tell you what always happened to me is, whenever I did something really bad, my mother would tell me, I want you to go out in the yard, I want you to cut yourself a switch. Oh, right? Yeah. You remember that, Lance? Oh, yes, I do. Now, the bad thing was, I'd always come back with one about this big, and I'd have to go out there again, and I'd have no. to make three or four trips until I got one the right size. That ever happened to you, Billy? No, many times. Does the switch Ooh. hurt or not? Does it hurt? Does it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> well, Billy, Dang. I'd say to the trouble. <laughs> I want you to go, I, I saved you the trouble of uh, making two or three trips. So when he comes out, I want you to use that on him, you okay? Believe it. Woo, All right, how about, great. how about, is Jeff Jarrett back there? You got the tree limb right there, Billy. Here comes Jeff. What else you got? Oh, we got all kind of stuff. We can go all day. Jeff, now I know you know what one of these are, because I've seen you wear a Sato and a Goto and Tojo. I've seen you wear their heads out with one of these, and all I want you to promise me is that if that fat Don Bass gets out of the ring, that you would do the same thing to you his head. Word, King all right, all right, right, man. Man. We got time for one more. How about the superstar, the real superstar, Bill Dundee? Hey, Bill, let, uh, can we get a little shot of this right here? Uh, you know what this is, don't you, Lance? Oh, yeah. Well, I've had a lot of matches against this man right here, and more than one time, I've, I've thought I was in great shape. I thought I was just ready to win the match, and all of a sudden, I'd look down at his fist, and one of these would be wrapped around it, and the next thing I knew, I was staring at the lights up at the top of the Coliseum. So, Bill, I want to present you with this, and whenever the big fat boy gets near you, you bust his brains out, you okay? You got the army armed. I want you, Don Bass, to take a good look at this and realize just how stupid you are. Because if you got an army, you got to have them. You got to have some weapons, brother. So we're going to have a war, and that's what it's all about. And I'm looking forward. No disqualification. So all this stuff is legal. And that belt is going right back around my waist. How about it, man? Uh, I love it. I got to tell you. I can't wait till it comes off. Going to be something else. We'll take time. <laughs> there they all go, each with their weapons in hand. And I believe every one of them knows how to use it, too. Take time out. We'll be back in a moment. We're going to bring out here a team now that we saw not only uh, a little of, but an awful lot of. A team that ended up as the AWA Southern Tag Champions. I'm talking about Mike Davis, Tommy Lane, the Rock and Roll RPM. And here they are, back from Atlanta. Well, it's been a while, gentlemen. We haven't seen you around, and you're back in the area again. That's exactly Mike Davis. right. We're back, Russell, but we didn't come here to talk to you. We're going to show you what we came back for right now. Oh, well, that uh, is fair enough with us. That's what we came for. Into the rain to go, Dave. We're ready for the next action. All right. Rock and roll RPM. There are Jeff Jarrett and Billy Travis.
a match here to the expiration oh, of time. I really Should be a good one. Yeah, we've got a yes. little time, too. Yes, we do. Dave, I'm glad about that because our expiration of time is going to have two teams in there that are very familiar with each other. And this should be a Danny. Go ahead. Out of Atlanta, Georgia, at 454 pounds total weight, Mike Davis and Tommy Lane, the rock and roll RPMs, and going against them. At a total of 438 pounds. Out of Lexington, Kentucky, Billy Travis. Out of Hendersonville, Tennessee, Jeff Jarrett. This match to the expiration of time, Jerry Calhoun says, ring it. Okay, for identification in there, Jeff is starting out against Tommy. Uh, some of you may not have been viewing back when the RPMs were here before. That's Tommy Lane. He is the heavier, or the stockier of the two. Let me put it that way. Uh, Mike Davis is the taller of the two. He's on the outside of the ring. They've got a little weight advantage on Billy and Jeff, but believe me, wash that out of your mind because from past experience, look at here. Jared, hip tossing, Tommy Lane again. Tag from Lane to Davis. Mike right, Davis, kind of the leader of the pack here. He's the one that does most of the talking. He is the taller of the two. Couldn't hear what he said to Billy Travis, and maybe it's a good thing we didn't hear what he said. <laughs> no love lost with these guys. Wow. What a shot. Travis greeted his old friend, Mike Davis, with a vicious punch. Turned him a 180 degree flip there. Billy Travis who always wants us to say hi to his mom in Lexington. And by the way, you folks around Lexington, we are delighted to be back home in Lexington now. We hope maybe he'll make it a point to be with us every single week. And tell everybody about our time and so forth like that. We'll be seeing you before too long. Back by Mike Davis. Tommy Lane will be coming in. Look at Billy Travis. Boy, he released quickly and set for Tommy Lane who was coming in. Great move by Billy. You get trouble on those exchanges if you're not careful. Tommy Lane backs him into a corner. Billy blocked the right hand and used one himself. Billy's near the corner. He does go for the tag goal. He says, well, I hit him again. And of course, you know what the crowd says. Billy with a nice shoulder butt. Off the rope. Tommy Lane. Boy, that slow. That shoulder stunned him, too, it didn't sure it? sure did. Lane a little slow getting back on his feet after that. Oh. Well, there's a good move by Lane. you got to give the devil his view. His shoulders are down. Count is two. He got him a three count. Tommy Lane got the three count. Oh, threw him out of the ring. Threw Jeff over the top rope. Rock and roll RPM. Got him down here on the floor. First fall is over at Rock and Roll RPM. A little surprisingly, or one fall up. Well, I say a little surprisingly. A couple of well-matched teams, but look at this battle on the floor we got going here. Now Davis and uh, Jeff back in the ring. Davis heads out. Tommy Lane back toward the ring. Rock and roll RPM look like they're headed oh, wow. to the dressing room. Yeah. Ooh, that's it for the first fall. 2.47 the time. Hey, we got time. We'll have more action coming up as Jeff and Billy are down one fall. Be back in a moment. the Coliseum Wednesday night. What a night of action that is going to just packed from the beginning to the added match of Dundee and Big Bubba with the loser agreeing not to use Superstar. Just one of the great bouts coming up. Hey, listen, it's also students night. All students, kindergarten through the 12th grade, you get in three bucks. You believe in it? By golly, the whole action is going to have the war match as the final one. Now, that's where you're going to have Bass and Lawler, but you're also going to be having 
the action that involves the commission and Lawler's army. Look out for anything in that no disqualification match. Nasty boys, Diamond and Tanaka, anything goes in a nasty match. Let's hear what the nasty boys have to say about it. Diamond and Tanaka, our time has come. Your time is gone, because we got, we want it, a nasty match. Anything goes, man. Now it's our time to put it on you. How about it, brother? Let me tell you, you're going down. We spent 15 years together living off the street, and nobody ever whooped us in our type of match. A nasty match, living off the street. Anything goes. That's right. So you're going down for the count. One, two, three, with your faces in the match. Is that going to be a kicker? You got it, brother. I mean, the whole night is that way. Mid-America heavyweight belt's going to be on the line. Jeff Jarrett defending against a mountain, 417-pound mighty Goliath. He's a big man, Lance. Woo! As the old saying goes, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. You know, Lance, I've held this belt now for about two months without losing it. You know, me and the moon dog flip-flop back and forth, oh, yeah. but I've held on it to it. And I got a big, tough title defense right there in Evansville. You know, as you said, he's big and he's bad, but that's just going to make me hey, fight even tougher. Use your speed. That's partner. right. Use my speed and use my head. You got big it. Big boy, you're not taking my belt away from me right there in Evansville. Boy, that is going to be a scrap and a half. And then it all lines up for the war match. You got to be there Wednesday. Okay, boy, I'll tell you what. Nobody wanted to wait on that. Wasting any time at all, Jeff and Billy determined to come back in here and get even in the second fall. They are one fall down to the rock and roll RPMs. Tommy Lane in there now against Jeff Jarrett. A snap suplex. Jeff Jarrett hits hard on his back. Tommy Lane quickly to his feet to the corner and the tag on his partner Mike Davis. Davis with a body slam on Jeff and a cover. Oh, oh, Picked him up on the hair. He's feeling a little too aggressive. They ended up winning that first ball in there. That's quite a Donnie Brook following that. Yep. RPMs are back, no question about that. Jeff Jarrett, Billy Travis, down a ball, and our time is running out as Tommy Lane slams Jeff's head right into the elbow of Mike Davis. Mike takes the tag and is through the ropes with Jeff. Big high foot right up in the face, puts Jeff down on his back, and another tag to Tommy Lane. Billy Travis leading the cheers in the corner. You can hear the crowd clapping. That's for Jeff. He hooks it down. One, two, he got it. This one's all evened up. Jeff Jarrett, Billy Travis get a victory in a minute, 10 seconds over Mike Davis and Tommy Lane, the rock and roll RPM. Boy, now there, Dave, just goes to show you, it's not just youngsters, but even guys that have been around like the RPM can get too confident and too complacent about. They won the first ball, having a good second ball going, and as they came rolling out there, situation was he simply crabbed him down into that small package, and that was the end of That's that. It. Mike Davis, Tommy Lane lose the second fall. It's one fall apiece. We're going to check our time. Be back in a moment. I wish we just had more time. We got two falls out of the match with the RPMs and Jeff and Billy, but uh, we're out of time now. Dave. Yeah, unfortunately, but it ends up as a draw officially. That's the way it's going to go into record books. You know, uh, the draw just does not demonstrate the action that was involved in that particular mm -hmm. match here today. Really, I'll tell you what. Well, maybe we'll get a break and have that rebooked here someday. We'll I hope so. We'll about that and see if we can. We're out of time right now. Hope maybe it'll make it a point to join us again next week. So, let me say for Dave Brown, this is Lance Russell saying bye-bye, everybody.
ringside. Lance Russell has taken the day off today, and uh, joining me here is someone who I think you've probably seen before on Championship Wrestling. Big Jack Eaton will be here. Jack, we got a terrific Championship Wrestling card coming up. Now, I can't take Lance's place, Dave. I'll just sit in here and try to fill his, uh, but no, nobody can take Lance's place. And boy, do we have a program for you today. How about this? The Rock and Roll RPM, along with Rocky Johnson, the Nasty Boy. The Nasty Boy, yeah. The Commission, Jared and Travis and I, who, who knows who else they stopped by. Oh, I'll tell you, great matches coming up. We're going to get them all in. We yeah. better start right now. We'll go, be go, back go. with Championship Wrestling in just a moment.